Okay, this video is for snow tiramisu. You're looking to learn uh, soccer or football. Um, you're 20 years old. So here are some, some simple fundamentals that you could spend even a few minutes each day. I think that's super important. As you're learning these fundamentals, you want to be very relaxed. Most people don't realize it's not about just learning the fundamentals. You got to be in a relaxed state of mind um, because that's going to help you if you're relaxed when you learn them, then you could be relaxed even in high pressure situations uh, on the field, right? So the first thing that you can invest in or make yourself is a, is a kick trainer. They're used by Sevilla, they're used by um, AC Milan, Ajax uses them, Wesley, Wesley Snyder talks about using them. Um, it's just a ball and a rope. And what this is gonna allow you to do is start to work on your striking technique. They're gonna, do, it's gonna develop both your feet. It's gonna help you improve your passing and your shooting, right? And you start to develop a nice rhythm. You're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. You're switching your hands. You could do insides. You could do laces. You could do behind the back, right? You could really play with the different surfaces and any time that you're walking or let's say you're watching a Premier League game or you're just taking a break from studying, you could bring it on walks, Good. on vacation, right? So it's super, super versatile and it's effortless too, which is um, key. The next thing that might be uh, helpful huh? is uh, two things. The first is a dribbling sequence. This is the Tom Turnbull dribbling sequence. I learned it 27 years ago and I, I taught it, try to pass it on whenever I can. Um, it goes like this. You go outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Switch feet. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. And, the, and you want to say it out loud when you do it. Um, the reason why you say it out loud is going to help it's gonna help you internalize it, right? It's so powerful because it's easy to memorize and it's easy to execute. The next thing that's gonna to start to happen is once you develop muscle memory, you're gonna be able to use it to combine with other moves so it acts like a, like a connector. You can go outside, outside, inside, outside, scissor, or outside, outside, inside, outside, chop, right? So it's a, it's a foundation for dribbling that once you memorize it, you won't have to think about dribbling on the field. You're just going to be able to um, navigate dribbling more effectively. So you want to drill this a few minutes a day over and over and over. Slow, smooth, smooth as fast, saying it out loud when you're doing it. The next thing that you want to learn, right? So we did passing and shooting, the kick trainer. The second thing we did was uh, dribbling, right? Dribbling sequence. The next thing you could do, if you have a bucket, or a barrel, garbage can, hamper, just a vessel, a target to aim to, this is gonna help you learn how to juggle. All right, so this is called the barrel game. Starting with your right foot, you could use a bounce, go like this, you go bounce, kick, bounce, bounce, kick, bounce. Okay, one more time. Bounce, kick, bounce, kick, into the barrel. So then you use your left, left foot, starting very close, Right? Bounce, kick, bounce, kick in, right? Nice and easy. You want to make skills easy. You want to make strength hard. Then you use both feet alternating. Right foot bounce, left foot bounce, right foot bounce, left foot bounce. And then right thigh with or without a bounce, left thigh with or without a bounce, both thighs alternating with or without a bounce, and then finish on anything you want, right? Combination of thighs, laces, right? Inside of the feet, whatever. And you could use a ball that is works for you. Like you could use bouncy balls, you could use dog toys, balloons, hacky sacks, whatever. As long as you're having fun doing it, um, that's the key. You gotta make it fun and challenging in the beginning because if you make it too hard, you're not gonna spend any time doing it. You want it to be simple enough or that you can start to develop that skill, right? And since you have a target, it makes it better than just saying an aimless, aimlessly juggling right it's 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 target it's goal driven because you can start to measure okay i'm two feet like two steps away from the barrel you could start to make it um it starts to become 
easier. You could start to measure how well you're developing and start to either increase the challenge or decrease the challenge, right? So that's why it's super effective. And there's another phrase that goes, um, neurons in the brain, the things that, that fire together, wire together, right? Think about a soccer game, you get the ball, ball comes out of there, someone takes it down, right? They juggle it and they take it down to their feet, they're dribbling, they pass to their teammate, the teammate passes them back, and then they finish on goal, right? There's a lot of things going on. So I would start to do two minutes of dribbling, two minutes of kick trainer, then two minutes of juggling, right? You start to do little skills, little skills circuit, the little rotations, um, but that's just me, right? You could mess around with, you know, just start messing around with these, but these are some fundamental, some fundamental skills and drills that um, can really take you to go from some, from average to better than average, I would say pretty fast, right? Because if when you're focusing on fundamentals, you're going to start to have more fun, right? So uh, reach out, reach out with any more questions and uh, thanks for your time. All right.